For the following control system, determine the closed loop transfer function T of S as a function of alpha and beta, and determine the sensitivity of C of S to variations in alpha and beta, where the nominal value of alpha is three and the nominal value of beta is one. Determine the magnitude of the two sensitivity functions at omega equal one radian per second and determine whether the system is more sensitive to alpha or beta at this frequency. So the first thing we're going to do is to derive the closed loop transfer function. T of S is equal to alpha over 2S times S plus beta divided by 1 plus alpha over 2S times S plus beta. And this simplifies to alpha over 2s squared plus 2 beta s plus alpha. So first, let's find the sensitivity due to alpha. So it's the sensitivity of the closed loop transfer function due to alpha. That is alpha over the numerator times the partial derivative of the numerator with respect to alpha minus alpha over the denominator times the partial derivative of the denominator with respect to alpha evaluated at alpha equal three. So this is equal to one times one minus alpha over two S squared plus two beta S plus alpha times one evaluated at alpha equal three, which equals two S squared plus two S over two S squared plus two S plus three. So now let's derive the sensitivity function for beta. And we get beta over n, the partial derivative of n with respect to beta, minus beta over the denominator, the partial derivative of the denominator with respect to beta, evaluated at beta equal one and alpha equal three. So this equals beta over alpha times zero minus beta over two S squared plus two beta S plus alpha times two S evaluated at beta equal one and alpha equal three, which simplifies to negative two S over two S squared plus two S plus three. So now let's determine the sensitivity at omega equal one radian per second. So we're gonna find the magnitude of each. And we have the sensitivity function for alpha at one radian per second is equal to 1.2649 or two decibels. And the sensitivity function for beta at one radian per second is 0 0.894 or negative 0 0.969 decibels. So what we find here is that T of S is more sensitive to variations in alpha at one radian per second. In class activity three, for the following control system, determine the closed loop transfer function as a function of alpha and k, and determine the sensitivity of T of S to variations in alpha and k, where k has a nominal value of one and alpha has a nominal value of five. Determine the magnitude of the two sensitivity functions at omega equal one radian per second, and determine whether the system is more sensitive to alpha or k at this frequency. Lastly, find the steady state error due to a unit step input at the nominal values for alpha and k, and the error for each with a 10% variation, where k would then be 0 0.9 and alpha would then be 4.5, and determine whether the error is more sensitive to variations in k or alpha. So first, let's find the closed loop transfer function. T of s is equal to one over s plus alpha plus k, and the sensitivity function for the closed loop transfer function with respect to k is k over one times zero minus k 
over s plus alpha plus k times one evaluated at k equal one and alpha equal five and we get negative one over s plus six. So when we evaluate that magnitude at one radian per second, we get 0 0.164 or negative 15.7 decibels. So then we create the sensitivity function for alpha and we get the sensitivity function with respect to alpha of s is equal to alpha over one times zero minus alpha over s plus alpha plus k times one evaluated at k equal one and alpha equal five is equal to negative five over s plus six. So the magnitude at one radian per second is equal to 0 0.822 or negative 1.7 decibels. So this shows that the closed loop transfer function is more sensitive to variations in alpha. Next, we are going to find the steady state error. So when alpha is equal to five and k is equal to one, the closed loop transfer function is one over s plus six and the nominal steady state error is one minus t of zero or five six. So when k is equal to 0 0.9, and alpha is equal to five, the closed loop transfer function is one over s plus 5.9, and the steady state error is 0 0.831. So the percent error with respect to the nominal would be equal to 0 0.831 minus 5 sixth over 5 sixth times 100, which equals to negative 0.28 so now when k is equal to 1 and alpha is equal to 4.5, the closed loop transfer function is 1 over s plus 5.5. And the steady state error is equal to 0 0.818. So the percent error would be 0 0.818 minus 5 sixths over 5 sixths times 100, which equals negative 1.84%. So since negative 1.84% is larger than negative 0.28%, we would say that the steady state error is actually more sensitive to variations in alpha as well.